Hey, idiot. Are you trying to run away from me? Don't even think about it. Because you know very well that I am the best athlete in the whole class. You wouldn't stand a chance. Uh, huh? No, I don't care about you. It's just that you're always at your desk writing stuff down in your diary or whatever. I got curious where you ran to, that's all. It's not weird at all. You're just being stupid as usual. Uh, what were you going to do for lunch, anyway? Sit by yourself at the library again? <laughs> You're such a nerd. I just don't understand why you'd want to sit by yourself all the time. You could at least try to be with someone. Someone you actually talk to. Not anyone in particular, of course, but you look pretty cool if if it was with me, right? So you better be grateful. Out of all people, you get to spend lunch time with me. So what do you say? Perfect, then. Maybe you'll actually be not so terrible to hang out with. But of course, that's up to me to decide. <laughs> After all, I am on a whole different level than you. Maybe I'll actually be really nice and let you be with me more often. But that's up to me to decide. Got it? I don't care what you think. Uh, that's right. It'll be just like when we're working on the project for class. Oh, of course, I'm, I'm only teaming up with you because you're a big nerd and all. Not because I, I like you or anything. Let's not be ridiculous. Uh, it's pretty cold outside. You should be more careful, you idiot. Here, have my jacket. I don't want you to get a cold and sneeze on me and stuff. I just can't believe you would go out like this. It's like you're trying to be sick. I really have to do everything, huh? Aren't you lucky that I'm here? Right. Since it's lunchtime, what are you eating? Wait. Don't tell me. You forgot to bring food. <laughs> you really are helpless, aren't you? <laughs> Look, lucky for you, I brought lunch for two. Well, uh, just in case I was more hungry than usual. N no, I would never make lunch for anyone. Especially not for you. I'm just making sure you're not going to eat mine. That's all. Uh, oh, it's your favorite meal. What a coincidence. Well, at least you have something that you like, I guess. Just make sure to give it back to me after you're done. I'm not giving you everything I own, you know. Mom, actually, you might be an idiot, but at the very least, you aren't a thief. I'll give you that. Y you like my jacket. Just make sure to give it back to me later today. The more I look at it, the more I want it back. But you can only have it today because it's cold. Got it? You seriously need to get a hang of yourself. Things would have been pretty bad if I weren't here for you, huh? I guess it really does pay off to be as amazing as I am. I guess I really have to look after you more often, huh? After all, I wouldn't want the guilt to keep me awake at night, so... So, don't make it harder for me, alright? I'm only asking for one favor in return. Only one. And well, I'm not asking for too much, but you're a dork and you're really good at it. Would you help me with my homework in return? Help me study every day. You're always the top of the class, so I guess that's something you could be useful for. Why I'm not asking anyone else? It's simple, you idiot. I have to look after you, so it's better if I keep you close at all times. That's all. Uh, I don't know why you're asking all these questions that aren't even important to begin with. Oh well, it 
doesn't matter. It's getting pretty cold. How about we go ahead and, well, go study at the library. You always go there anyway, and well, it's a good place to eat lunch, so... So, let's just go. Uh, I will never get used to how quiet this place is. I can't even tell you how stupid you are without being told to keep it down. Uh, but it doesn't matter. It seems that you are enjoying yourself. <laughs> Could it be that the lunch I prepared you was that good? I mean, the lunch that I prepared but ended up giving to you, of course. I would never, never make food for anyone else but myself. That would be a total waste of time, and especially not for a nerd like you. <sighs> but whatever. You're not a bad teacher, I guess. I may be on the whole new level compared to everyone else, but I'm not perfect, and math seems to be the only weakness I was given, so this is what you've been doing every lunch, huh? Not as bad as I thought, but minus the pretty boy mangas. I can't believe you're not embarrassed reading those in public. Huh. I tried to understand what they are about. Something about a demon butler or something, and ice skaters, or whatever. It's pretty hard to keep up. Hmm? You want me to keep making you lunch? Well, sure, but you help me study every day, all right? And it's not for you. It's It just happens that you eat it, that's all. <sighs> Let me ask you, do you think boys in real life act exactly like your 2D husbands? Could you imagine me being your butler for the day, telling you sweet compliments as I serve you in the best way I can? You can. I wouldn't do it for you, but I guess it doesn't sound half bad if that's what girls are into nowadays. I don't see why I shouldn't try, but you would be pretty good at helping me out with that as well, right? Well, it, it's a deal then, once I get enough money for it, that is. Uh, of course, those suits are really expensive. Also, I never asked, are you in any clubs? I don't recall seeing you join any. You're not. Well, I'm not in some stupid club either. They're all boring and strict. None of them have people that I like, so... I'm better off with a... A nerd like you. At least you're... You're useful and not a complete waste of my time. Hmm? You want to create one? I'm pretty sure you need to be at least five people to start a club, but... Either way, I'm not interested. Just you is enough. B because I I'm not good with crowds. They're a pain to deal with. I'd rather have one nerd to endure. And I don't even know what the club would be about to begin with. Your pretty boy mangas? Or perhaps the Otome games that you love so much? It's just not my thing. You're stuck with me. And I'm stuck with you. And it'll stay that way. Mm hmm? You want me to get that book for you? <laughs> Don't tell me that you can't reach for it. <sighs> you poor little thing. I'm only doing it because I don't want to hear you whine about it. There you go. See how I make your life so much easier? I bet you won't be able to last a day without me from now on. Could your 2D boys do this? I don't think so. I might as well princess carry you and took you in bed. Huh? You'd like that? Well, that was a joke, you idiot. I'm not going to do everything for you. 
You make it sound like I'm your father or something. Ah, uh, well, either way, I'm done with my homework. It wasn't that complicated after all. It seems like there are some good things that come out with being a dork. You're really not so bad after all, I guess. Uh, can I ask you something? Well, could I come home with you? T to your place, that is. Not, don't get any wrong ideas, you idiot. I just want to... I just want you to help me with, with studying more. Uh, after all, it's, it's boring when I'm by myself. It's better when I get to make fun of you and, and all. So, what do you say? It's a deal, then. After class, let's meet at the gate and we'll go to your place. Oh, I gotta say, your room is even dirtier than I thought. I have absolutely no idea how you live every day in a mess like this. You really don't care, huh? Uh, well, I don't know if I should admire you for it. Or believe that you are actually hopeless. When was the last time you actually cleaned your room? Three months ago. Huh. <laughs> well, actually, I don't blame you. I bet you knew that no one would actually come over. Unfortunately for you, I exist. Huh. Not gonna lie, it almost makes me want to clean everything in here and show you how it's done. Hmm? Why, I would want to. Well, I don't know, I find it pretty satisfying, I guess, especially when I can just shove it in your face afterwards. Hmm? My jacket. Uh, actually, you can keep it. I'm sure you need it more than I do. I have plenty of others, so, so it's fine. I'm just giving it to you because you'll get cold more often. And that's all. It's not hard to understand, right? It was getting old anyway. <sighs> you know, maybe this isn't so bad after all. Doing this all day? Usually I'm all by myself. I guess I just scare everyone away, so... This is pretty new to me. I didn't expect that I would... Enjoy it that much, but... I wish... Every day... Was like this. B because, well... Because... I... I was afraid that... I might scare you away as well. That's why... It took me so long to invite you to hang out and such. It's just really hard for me to tell people how I really feel. It's really embarrassing for me to even mention it. For so long, I've been looking at you ever since the first day. I... I had feelings for you, and well, I knew that it would be impossible for me to even tell you about it, and yet, here I am, after so long, you are the only one that actually wants to spend time with me, the only one that doesn't get intimidated by what I say. I wanted to spend time with you for so long now. I just never could find a good excuse. I told myself today that I will go all out. When I ran to you earlier today, I was actually so nervous I thought my heart might pop out of my chest. I really didn't want to be rejected. And yet, you never turned me away. No matter what. And that's why I think you are amazing. I I absolutely love everything about you. Even your imperfections. 
all of it. And yes, of course, I, I made lunch for you today. I was told by a classmate what your favorite meal was. And I trained really hard to give you something really good. It actually makes me really happy when I get to look after you and take care of you. It's because you deserve it. I know that it doesn't really sound like it most of the time, but you're very, very precious to me, and I would do anything to make you happy, even, even dress up as your 2D husbands if, if that's what it takes. I'm making this overly complicated for no reason. I'll make it clear. I... I love you. With... all my heart. And... I want every single day to be like this. I've never been any happier. Y you... Love me too. Y y you're kidding, right? Because if you are, I'll kill you. You're serious. Uh, perfect then. I guess we're on the same page. That makes us a couple now, right? <laughs> of course you'd want to go out with me. After all, I am multiple levels above you. You would never give up on an opportunity like this, right? What would you do without me? Uh, all right. I'm sorry. I'll try my best to be more honest from now on. It's just that it's a little difficult for me right now, but I'm sure of one thing. As long as I have you by my side, I'll be able to do everything. Oh, it's getting a little late. We still have classes tomorrow, so... Oh. I see. You want me to stay for the night? I, I have to look after you, so it's my duty to stay. Just don't turn around and definitely don't look at my face. This is embarrassing enough as it is. Just close your eyes and get some rest, you idiot. <laughs>